and welcome back to the Veggie Tales Reference and Easter Egg series, where I go through every single episode of Veggie Tales and point out all the references I can find. Previously, I've covered every episode of the classic series, both movies, and all the episode compilations. And today, I'll be taking a look at the 2019 reboot, The Veggie Tales Show. Because the show is still airing, I'll be splitting this video into two parts, covering the first half of the season now and the second half when it's complete. This will also give me a chance to address any Easter eggs that I missed in this part. Before we start, allow me to clarify what I consider an Easter egg. Any callbacks to a piece of Big Idea Media, whether it be a show, music, staff, or merchandise. Recycled props, characters, outfits, and settings will not be mentioned unless they are particularly notable, and pop culture references will not be mentioned. With all that out of the way, let's see what Easter eggs I can find in the Betty Tales show. Right off the bat, in God Wants Us to Make Peace, Mr. Nezer makes his return after being absent from the Netflix series. Mr. Nezer's office has several notable pictures in it. There is one of the barn from Princess and the Pop Star, the theater from Star of Christmas, and Grandma Nezer from An Easter Carol. On his desk, there are pictures of Jerry as a bodyguard from Princess and the Pop Star, Jimmy as Little John from Robin Good and the French Peas. Bob mentions that he's made a lot of vegetable shows, which is a very clear reference to classic Veggie Tales. On this bulletin board in the theater, you can spot Nezer from An Easter Carol and from Little Joe, the Joppa scene from Jonah, and early magazine renders of Bob, Larry, Mama Asparagus, Dad Asparagus, and Junior. We get the first appearance of Goliath since little ones can do big things too, and he appears to be working for Pizza Angel, the brand that first appeared in Minnesota Cube. There are also cameos from Bruce Onion from Saturday Night Fever and Khalil, however, they do not speak. For the show, they tell the story of Abraham and Lot, which was previously covered in Abe and the Amazing Promise, with Pa Grape and Jimmy reprising their roles as Abraham and Lot. And a rendition of the What Have We Learned song can be heard towards the end. First, just like the letter we got from Stuart. If everyone wants to pick the game on game night, that's gonna lead to a fight. So let your brother... In the best Christmas gift, you can spot classic renders of the French Peas, Pa Grape, Archibald, and Jerry in the opening sequence. And the classic VeggieTales theme song is used for the first time since Noah's Ark. The postcard for the Czech Republic seen in Archibald's song takes its background from Little Joe, and the postcard for Scandinavia takes its from the Pirates movie. It also features characters from McLarry in the Stinky Cheese Battle. Jimmy also mentions Burger Bell as he leaves the theater, which is a reference to his cheeseburger from Madame Blueberry. The Veggie Bill posters seen around the theater feature scenes from several classic episodes, including Big River Rescue, Summa of the Opera, Minnesota Cuke, Little Joe, and The Wizard of Hogs. We see the return of Miss Agnetha, who last appeared in Beauty and the Beat, and the pseudo-return of Silly Songs with Larry's Agitated Song. The back of Laura's magazine shows pictures from Celery Night Fever. We can see Khalil as Styx, Jimmy from the closing countertop scene, and Lanny and Dennis on stage. When talking about love, Mr. Lunt compares it to a cheeseburger, which is another reference to his cheeseburger. Jimmy talks about a Bible story with a whale and one with a boy in his slingshot, referencing Jonah and Dave and the Giant Pickle. Also, Bob says, We need a big idea from the Bible which could be a reference to Big Idea, although I think that might be a stretch. The food later in It's Cool to Be Kind is actually a repurposed invention from Blunders and Boo Booville, and when it goes haywire, we see a carving of Grandma Nezer. We get the proper return of silly songs in this episode, and we hear another rendition of the What Have We Learned song. Thanks for coming, everyone. You know, I really learned something this time. The episode also ends using the same verse from Celery Night Fever, Ephesians 4.32, although the New Century version was used here, whereas the English Standard Version was used in the past. Larry on the poster of McCheese bears a striking resemblance to King George from the titular episode. The hairbrush song is referenced in the beginning of the next episode, with Pa asking Larry if he's still trying to grow hair. The robots from the show's first segment are recycled from Fennel Frontier, and the story of the foolish rich man is told as a western bible story, just like the Ballad of Little Joe and Moe in the Big Exit. In fact, the Okie Dokie Corral from Little Joe is referenced with this sign. Junior and Laura's bedrooms are heavily based off theirs from Celery Night Fever, and Junior can be seen reading Laura's magazine from The Power of Love. The story of David and Jonathan features several references to Dave and the Giant Pickle. We see a reenactment of the battle with Junior and Goliath playing their respective roles. During that scene, we hear snippets of music from that episode. Due to an incident involving a giant. I will smash you! And King Saul's tent looks nearly identical to its appearance in the episode. The next episode tells the story of Noah's Ark, which was previously covered in the last episode of the classic series. 
and both Larry and Pa reprise their roles as Ham and Noah. The newspaper Lunt is holding is the same one from the Perfect Puppy Silly Song, and we can actually make out more of the pictures. There are pictures from McLarry, the Penniless Princess, and the Little House That Stood that I've mentioned in the previous parts, and there are also pictures from Fennel Frontier, Princess and the Pop Star, and the Astonishing Wig Silly Song. Larry Boy and the Caped Coat Caper marks the return of fan favorite character Larry Boy and contains numerous references to his past. The Bumbleberg Science Museum seen in the League of Incredible Vegetables returns and it is still populated with inventions from Blunders and Boo Booville, as well as a painting of Ephraim Apley from The Bad Apple. As Callie and Laura exit the theater, you can spot Princess on the poster for The Sound of Mushroom. In Callie's room, you can spot several notable pieces of Larry Boy art. You can spot the cover art for the Fib from Outer Space and the Rumor Weed, as well as the Larry Boy Superhero Power Pack. This render of Larry Boy comes from the Bad Apple, along with this picture of Callie's and this one of the Larry Mobile. This render comes from the League of Incredible Vegetables, and so does this one of the Larry Copter. These pictures of the Larry Signal and the Larry Mobile come from Fib, and this image of Larry Boy is actually a fan model created by Nintega Dario. Larry's trophy case containing the rumor weed glasses and the bowling plate is briefly seen in the Larry Cave. QWERTY makes a cameo as the Larry Cave's computer, and Larry's closing line makes reference to his catchphrase. And everyone watching can be that hero! In the wonderfulness of wisdom, yet another rendition of the What Have We Learned song is heard. Mr. Lunt mistakes the word kazoo for Cebu, which is a reference to the song of the Cebu. Mr. Nezer in this episode is portrayed by his original voice actor Phil Vischer, and the episode ends using the same verse from God Wants Me to Forgive Them, Colossians 3.13, with the Veddy Tales show using the International Children's Bible, and Veddy Tales using what I believe is the New International Version. And that will mark the end of part one. Stay tuned next time when I cover the remaining 13 episodes of the season. I'm sure there are some easter eggs that I missed, so be sure to let me know in the comments below and I will address them in the next video. And if you want to see more VeggieTales easter eggs, check out the playlist linked on the end screen. Anyway, this will all end the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I thank you guys for watching. Alright guys, bye.